Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, in an ongoing study on cost of discipleship by a, uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. We're going to look at pages 188 to 198, and uh, after this lesson we will have two more lessons to wrap up the book. Let's go to block one. The devout life is hidden in Christ. We go to Matthew 6, 17, and 18. When you fast, make yourself to appear as not fasting, but unto your Father, who sees in secret, and who will reward you openly. Fasting is an exercise in self-control, says Bonhoeffer. It's part of the Christian life. It makes us ready for discipleship, ready for a life of service. Strict exterior discipline needs to be observed, coupled with faith in Christ with a mindfulness of the threat of sloth and self-indulgence. Bonhoeffer says, daily self-discipline is necessary for the Christian life. Discipleship means estrangement from the world. There is real joy, genuine joy, in the devout life. We prepare for ministry through fasting and prayer. And uh, Bonhoeffer takes us to 1 Corinthians 7, 5, where Paul says, Give yourselves to fasting and prayer and communion with God. So for Bonhoeffer, the life of discipleship is a devout life, and it's a devout life from uh, being hidden in Christ and being mindful of that which threatens our abiding in Christ. Let's go to block two. Our singular focus is on Christ. Matthew 6, 20-21 Lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, for where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. We preserve the single eye on Christ as the light from Christ. The whole body becomes darkness when the eye is blind. Now devotion to possessions must be negated. The light of the Christian is in the heart. The heart darkens when it clings to materialism, when it clings to possessions. Then the word cannot penetrate the heart. So again, Bonhoeffer is critical of materialism. Earthly goods are to be used, not collected. We receive our portion from God every day. Accumulated wealth must not become a barrier. We are to love God above all else. Again, materialism is to be negated in the Christian life. Discipleship is spiritual. Therefore, it is uh, against materialism. It, uh, it is against accumulating possessions. It is against accumulated wealth. And in our day and age, that's a huge criticism because all we're taught, all we're bombarded with is consume, 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 possess. Build your possessions. Have the best car. Have the best house have the highest income. The American dream. Best house, best car, high income, materialism all the way. Bonhoeffer says, and Bonhoeffer came from a wealthy family. He came from a wealthy family, and he says, negate materialism. Accumulated wealth must not become a barrier. Let's go on to block three. Okay, block three. Be not anxious. Matthew 6.34 Be not anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient unto its day is its own evil. We can never of ourselves provide freedom from anxiety caused by seeking security in possessions. Possessions become cares in themselves. Be not anxious for tomorrow. We abide in Christ 
who delivers us um, delivers us from materialism. We find freedom from materialism in Christ. We are nurtured by God's blessings. We are nurtured by God's abundance. So obviously the theme in all three points here has been discipleship is spiritual. We abide in the realm of spirit. We are to uh, be on guard against materialism, against that which is the norm for society. Society is taught to consume, to possess, to uh, acquire more and more and more possessions. Bonhoeffer came from a wealthy family in Germany, and he says, no, as as uh, disciples of Christ, we negate materialism, we affirm the realm of spirit, we affirm the realm of transcendence, we negate accumulated wealth. And in America, that means we negate that uh, fixation on uh, possessions, the the best house, the best car, the highest income. That's supposedly the American dream. And if you notice, that's all surface reality. So the supposed Amer uh, American dream is house, car, income. All of that is surface reality. All of that is possessions. All of that is materialism. Bonhoeffer says, no, the Christian disciple lives in the realm of spirit, affirms the realm of spirit, affirms the realm of transcendence. Let's do a quick recap here and we'll wrap up. Okay, block one. I think note three is important. Discipleship means estrangement from the world, from the world of materialism. There is genuine, real joy by living a Christian devout life, says Bonhoeffer. We do it through fasting and prayer. 1 Corinthians 7, 5, give yourselves to fasting and prayer and communion with God. The devout life lives a life of communion with our Father in heaven through Christ, who has restored personal communion with our Father in heaven. That is the realm of spirit. It is our genuine realm of existence. Block two. So block one tells us what to affirm. We are to affirm the genuine joy we find in the devout life. Now block two, note two, devotion to possessions is to be negated. The light of the Christian is in the heart. The heart darkens when it clings to materialism. The heart then darkens, and the word of Christ cannot penetrate the heart. Now block two gives us the negation. Block one, we affirm the devout life. Block two, we negate materialism. Block three, uh, as a verse, Matthew 6.34, Be not anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient unto its day is its own evil. We can never of ourselves provide freedom from anxiety. We only secure freedom from anxiety and Christos, in Christ, and only in Christ. So block one, we affirm living the devout life of discipleship, of full surrender to Christ. Block two, we negate materialism. We don't cling to possessions because then the heart darkens and the word of Christ cannot penetrate the heart. Materialism is a barrier to the word of Christ. And then block three, Matthew 6, 34. Freedom from anxiety. Kind of goes along with our series of uh, sermons uh, from Ross lately. Freedom from anxiety, anxiety comes from a ongoing Sabbath rest in Christ. How are we freed from anxiety? Through ongoing Sabbath rest in Christ. That is the truth. We abide in Christ as Christ indwells us. 
and by abiding in Christ, we have freedom from anxiety, and we can live that life of discipleship, that devout life in Christ. And we can live out a negation of living according to materialism, living according to surface reality. We know the genuine reality is behind surface reality. It is. Genuine reality is the realm of spirit. Genuine reality is the realm of transcendence. Genuine reality is the movement of spirit from dunamis potentiality to energy actuality, and that occurs behind surface reality. It's ongoing right now, and through spiritual vision, through spiritual perception, we can participate in that movement of spirit toward the eschaton, toward the eschaton, toward the fulfillment of God's kingdom, and it is reaching toward that fulfillment as a time when God will be all in all, says Paul. And so we know there is a realm of spirit behind surface reality. Surface reality is not the reality. Most of society takes surface reality as the reality. As disciples of Christ, genuine reality is the realm of spirit the realm of transcendence. It lies just behind surface reality and it is described in scripture as movement of spirit from potential to actual, from dunamis to energia. It is described in scripture as movement of spirit and it's going on now. Behind surface reality, that movement of spirit takes place now. It's a great lesson on uh, what is the meaning of our devout life. That's going to wrap up 188 to 198. Next time we go uh, 202 to 218. Next time it'll be our next lesson is our penultimate lesson. 202 to 218. Next time it'll be the penultimate lesson. That wraps up 198, 188 to 198 on the devout life is hidden in Christ.